So the decentralized computing market should make it very simple for users from the banking world, from the Web2 world, or from the Web3 world to define their budget for security, to send that budget into a globally accessible market, on-chain market, and for that market to match their specific budget to the amount of security and the amount of data and the amount of compute that they can afford. Because one of, one of the problems right now is the ability for people without a sufficiently large budget to afford the level of security provided by the Chainlink network, because the level of security in many cases is immense. So we need to make a system where not only do we make it easier for people to pay value into the system, but also for anybody of any budget and any set of configurations to define an Oracle network and receive that Oracle network back from a highly automated system that basically makes it reliable to the level that they are willing to pay. And in this way, you can basically meet everybody's security requirements and budget requirements. And what we've seen consistently is that as applications secure more value, their budget grows. Because there's more at stake, and there's more at risk, and there's more to secure. And likewise, they're willing to pay for additional nodes, additional data sources, additional security. And so the decentralized computing market should be a very efficient, automated way to scale that security by matching it with the budget that people have to pay for it. 